Hello Rosemont team, uh, this is a video on how to create your class in Miro. So the first thing we have to do is find this email from Ms. Landin uh, in which she invited you to uh, edit the demo board. So uh, click on accept invitation, you need to sign up if it's the first time you use it. If you use Miro for the first time you have to sign up and then find demo board right here. Click on it, and it's going to look like this. We can see the name of uh, all the different teachers here. And on the right side, we have the tags or the labels. Uh, you're going to also have them later once you want to tag or label each of the students, but this is for your reference or your information. Uh, I created here one that says Cortez Sample. So there are two ways to start your class or your group. The first one uh, is you're going to click on Sticky Note, then choose a color that resembles the one that you were given. You paste it there, and then I'm going to type the name of one of my students. Okay, that is the first way to create your class. Mm. However, it, it will take a little bit time to actually type all the names. The easy way to do it is have ready a spreadsheet with the name of your students, like this one I have here that says sample class, and I have 18 students already. Make sure that the name and the last name are in the same cell, so you can actually uh, use it faster. So again, the name and last name must be on the same cell. You select the area you want to copy, go for Control C. It's important you use Control C uh, because if you try to copy and paste using your mouse like this, it's not going to work. So just choose the area, Control Copy. And then right here, you go for Control B. So control V for control plus V to paste. I have already here my 18 sticky notes from my class. Um, you can see the blue frame right here. That means that all of it is selected. While it's still there, you need to change the color to the one that you were assigned to. And also, I'm going to try to move my sticky notes inside the dotted lines that you have there. So if you notice. I'm just going to make it bigger. Each teacher has like a dotted line right here. So try to put your sticky notes in between those two lines. I'm going to delete the first one that I did. And also to do this, you have to go for double click on the three dots right there. You go for delete. Now my class is ready to start editing. Um, Basically, what we are expected to do here is to use these colors as a reference for uh, each of the students, like what information they have. So I'm just going to have some examples here to my first student. I'm going to label for Spanish and for a transfer, for instance, to my student B. Once I click on the sticky note, you can add the tags or I don't know, hi maybe. And also, that's the one you choose. You click on done. So you can just go and label different tags right here. They are already here, so you just have to click on them. Okay. And another thing that we can do is when you click on the sticky note from the student, you can also add comments right here. So a student should not be placed with student B. Or any other comment that you want to add. Okay, uh, just a few tips if this is the first time you use it. 
you always need to have this select tool right there so that you can move around the board and it is easier to use if you actually have a mouse with you instead of just using your uh, laptop cursor okay so this was the video on how to how to create your class in Miro. I hope it, it is useful for you.